That's right. It's only me, you, and Disbaru, the last review. Secret Invasion, if you're here with us, let's get into the torture together. So while I reviewed the first episode, I have not reviewed any others. I've done 10 second reviews. I just I just didn't have the heart and the interest to continue doing an, a weekly review of Secret Invasion. But since we're on the penultimate episode, episode five of six, I figured let's have at it because my God, the show is stupid. It's just, its own internal logic fails it. It's as if someone wrote this and did not remember that they wrote the lines that they wrote in the previous episode. I don't know what was going on here, but this show is just, it's foolishness. We finally uncover Nick Fury's secret is that he's too embarrassed because he was raised by a single mom and married a scroll to call the Avengers in because then he would just look a fool and no one would ever trust him ever again. That's why he never calls the Avengers in. And he's been secretly, spoiler alert, harvesting their DNA behind their backs and sending scrolls in to do it. So, you know, even Carol Danvers' DNA is in there because her DNA would have her powers? Not sure that's how that works, friend, because her powers were created by an accident, and I don't know that it changed her DNA. Just like if you had Tony Stark's DNA, what would you get? A real smart guy. Or Ant-Man's DNA, what would you get? A crook who has a suit. They have suits. Yes. D things don't... <laughs> Even Steve Rogers' DNA, what do you have? A super serum. Wait, does this super serum, is that is that in his DNA now? I'm not so sure about that. Ay ay ay, what a mess. Let's check out the recap because I hardly remember what happened because it was so dumb. Yes, let's check it out together. Rejoice, fans. Olivia Coleman is the only salvageable part. And this is from the Daily Beast. The Daily Beast. This episode was called Harvest. And we find out a handful of things that aren't that interesting to anyone. Other than Nick Fury, I guess, is some kind of loser. N none of it makes any sense. What is going on here? <sighs> so anyway... Let's see, how does this, ep <laughs> is this episode a success? No, probably not. I don't even know what's going on here. All I know is, uh, I know a couple things. I know that Amelia Clark has no character and no character arc. She's barely even a thing. <laughs> the worst action scene I've ever seen happen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these people are acting with the thinnest of, anything so but apparently talos ben mendelson is in fact dead okay uh dermot mulrooney is the president and they take him to the hospital room and nick fury's not allowed in because you know he got canned by roadie so he can't come in even though he literally brought the president in and they're like nah you can't come and then he's like i'm gonna sit here in front of the door and shoot anyone who comes in and then Rhodey comes in, and you would think he would just cap Rhodey right in the head immediately because as soon as Rhodey was dead, Rhodey would turn into a scroll, and then everybody would know that Rhodey was a scroll, and you wouldn't have to worry about anything. In fact, in a later scene, it the same exact thing happens. <laughs> Olivia Coleman literally does it to a different person who she's trying to prove who is a scroll. The literal exact scene that you would expect Nick Fury to do Nick Fury would see Rhodey, scroll Rhodey and instantly, the second he walked through the door, cap him and watch him turn into a scroll but for some reason, that doesn't happen so let's keep with the story but Gravik is uh, 
for some reason, no reason at all, he's decided that they're going to hunt down Nick Fury's wife because she didn't. Do, she ignored a direct order through Rhodey to kill Nick Fury. Okay. Even though, you know, Gravik is a super scroll and could, could do it himself. Gravik tells Rhodey that he needs to tell the president that the scroll they're scrolls and then they need to bomb the scrolls so that they can start World War III. Even though that's where his super scroll machine is. And he couldn't make any more super scrolls. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Don't think about it. Doesn't matter. They only need one Super Scroll and it's Gravik. Even though he barely does anything as a Super Scroll. He literally gets captured by his own people and almost beaten to death. But he magically kind of survives it. Even though he could literally just rip them to pieces. In fact, instead of ripping them to pieces, he has to like slit the one dude's throat. And it's like, I'm pretty sure they'd be more scared of you if you used your group powers and just tore the man in half but no they don't do that and here's where the writing of the show doesn't even make sense twice amelia clark gaia is says she needs to bury her father let me bury my father how about you bury your father what can you let me bury? go talk to um nick Fu you know vera nick nick fury's wife she'll help you bury your father they don't bury him. They burn him. And not only do they burn, they burn him with a ceremony, a scroll ceremony where they're speaking scroll. You would think that they would, they would, you know, spend some money on putting them in makeup and having them turn back into scrolls. But no, it has to be Amelia Clark and the other. <laughs> what? This show is so stupid. She literally said twice, we need to bury him. And then she burns him. Okay. I mean, maybe you're confused. That's okay. I also don't care because this is just so stupid. And now Millie Clark's a super scroll and she's like, oh, I'm going to break into this door and I have to like bust it open. Sweetheart, you could just tear the door down. You're a super scroll. You can do whatever you want. It just is so stupid. And the reason why... He's got the Super Scroll idea is because Gravik used to work for Fury, and what they really wanted to do was harvest the DNA of the Avengers, which is revealed. That's great. Because Sonya meets this ran the rando couple that apparently made the Super Scroll machine. S stupid. No, I, none of it. Don't care. I mean, I like the actress, but none of this. I don't care. Not super interesting at all. What does she learn about the Super Scroll machine? Uh, nothing other than their Super Scroll machines. She literally could have just asked Gaia, who probably told Fury, or Fury could have asked his wife, who probably knows that there's a Super Scroll machine. You'd think any of these people would talk to each other, but they don't. You know, whatever. Who cares? And then she finds out that Rhodey's not a human. You'd think she'd know that. Too. Why wouldn't Rhodey tell her that in the beginning? Or why wouldn't Fury tell her about Rhodey in the beginning? So, so, I, I just don't under No. And then Sonya's like, why haven't you called Fury? And this is the best, dumbest monologue I've ever heard of. Is none of them live the life that I have. None of them can defend the world that I can because... My mama raised me, and I'm married to a scroll woman, and that woman makes me a better man. No, no, no. no it's because you took all their DNA, and we're going to make super soldiers, and you didn't tell anybody, and all of it is stupid. This is stupid. It's terribly written. So dumb. Like, what are you going to do with Iron Man's DNA? Like, half the Avengers. Let's talk about Hawkeye. What are you going to do with Hawkeye's DNA? <laughs> like, come on, people. What you, the only ones you care about, it, it would be different if he was like, oh, yeah, I got the Hulk. And maybe, maybe you got Thor. Thor's a god. I don't even know if you can get his DNA. I, I don't even know what that means. So who's exactly whose DNA are you getting? Black Widow? Her DNA? <laughs> like, what are you going to do with it? They're just regular people. Oh, half of the Avengers are regular people. What are you talking about? So stupid. 
insanely stupid. And now Gaia and weak ass Nick Fury can maybe be humanity's last hope from extinction because obviously the humans clearly don't have the edge on Gravik who's getting betrayed by his own people. He's a super scroll but has yet to show any powers that make me go like, oh my gosh, he's a super scroll. As of right now, he could probably just get shot or beaten to death. Like, what? This is terrible. Terrible. I can't wait till this is over. Yes, Nick Fury, let's finish this. Why? Why is any of this? Why is Nick Fury? Why is this a thing? Why did they pay Amelia Clark any amount? Whatever they paid her was too much money because she literally does nothing in this show. She has no... The only thing I want to grave about, the last thing I want to grave about <laughs> is the action scene where, <laughs> where they're spinning around shooting if you watch that the action in this show has been so been so poorly directed it's it's astonishing they put on backpacks they might as well as put on fanny packs of guns when you need guns you don't put them in backpacks you just hold them it's the stupidest thing ever shotguns apparently shoot people across the across the entire freaking room you just you get blasted and you just fly across the room like is this a terrible 80s action film and then when fury's wife runs out of bullets she just stares at her gun like oh i got some out of bullets i don't know what to do with it now it's out of bullets i don't know she's a super scroll she can heal herself with uh extremis all of this is stupid the show is garbage. This is why I haven't been reviewing it. But if you'd like me to, I will continue. I'm going to watch the last episode. I've watched every Marvel thing ever. All of it. Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, all of it. Ant-Man, every single thing I've watched, all of it. And reviewed the bulk of it. So let me know what you think in the comments below because this I, I i'm really curious are you still into this am i just torturing myself for no reason i clearly am one of the only it, it's the second worst watch show next to miss marvel which i which i watched all of so please tell me should i continue torturing myself i mean i'm gonna do it regardless because i clearly just like to self-flagellate but thank you if you watch this long i appreciate you let me know keep doing it torture do you like torture maybe you do but i don't know anyway audio podcast stitcher itunes free you our reviews will kill you we love you i'm on to the next one